AFTV, guys, fantastic performance by um, the team tonight, but I'm not even going to delve into the performance. Brilliant. Everyone's come on already. They've all said it. It's been fantastic. What I want to find out, especially after the last couple of guys who've come on, I want to find out how you guys felt about this Aubameyang situation. Was it right the way it was handled? Is it right to take it away? Was it wrong? I want to find out from you guys. You know I mean, you guys are the fans. So let me kick off with you. Um, it was a great performance tonight. Yeah, tonight, performance, no doubt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I felt feel like a Bamian. Um, yeah, he needs more discipline. Um, he's a fun guy. He's a happy guy, but he's not. I don't feel he's captain material. Um, and what's great right now is we've got a core of young players who can take charge, re-roll. Um, as internationally captains as well, and that's always good. Um, so for one captain. T and E, Rams, the, they'll all. Yeah, who would you yeah. who would you give it to then? Who would you give the captaincy to? Currently, T and E, I can see him take charge from the back line, the back four. He does quite well, and yeah, T and E, good for Scotland, and yeah, very decorated. Not the captain of Scotland, though, is he? No, okay. he's not the captain of Scotland. Yeah, right, well, Robinson. yeah Robinson, that's mm. it. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Well, for you, you've yeah, seen enough leadership yeah. qualities in him for. Yeah. He imposed himself into the back four and yeah, Tierney. So Tierney for you and you felt the Aubameyang thing was handled right? Yeah, the Aubameyang thing was handled the best Brilliant. way. All right, let me get you in. All right, all right, I'll talk to the, the What about you? You think the Aubameyang situation you handled right by Arteta? You know what I mean? He's put his foot down or for you was he a bit too harsh? No, I think it was right. He came out and said disciplinary reasons, didn't extrapolate why. Mm. And then all of a sudden he came out in the media afterwards, why? Aubameyang lost the captaincy, so I'm okay with that in the grand scheme of things, you know, so like... Somebody pointed out to me the other day, they said, Harry Maguire, captain of Man United, in the summer, beat up someone, he did, yeah. got done for it, yeah. remember, this is not like something we're making up, got done for it, found guilty, mm. comes back, still captain. My guy's late. I mean, you know, mm. I'm not to say that he shouldn't lose it, because I don't know the ins and outs, but the very public way, was that right? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't want to put words into your mouth. I'm, I'm just giving you another scenario. No, no, sure. And I fully understand. But the thing is, we're not Manchester United. So that's not who we are. That's not mm. what we represent. We have very specific rules that we have for our players to show up on time. And he didn't do it. Mm. This is now strike two, strike three for him. So then all of a sudden, is an American, you know, in a baseball sense, you're out. <laughs> you got to be done. So strike out. Exactly. So you know, if you don't do the job right, mm. you got to go. And so, did he do the job right? I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not at the club, but at the same time, you know, we have other players who want to be at that level. And so, the captaincy isn't just the best player out on mm. the pitch on a regular basis. Right. The the captaincy is the one who's going to lead the team the best. So, is that Aubameyang? I'm not 100 percent sure. So was it right for, for him to be dropped the other day? I would say, sure. Who would, if, who would you give the captaincy to? You're in charge. Who gets it now? So that's a tough one because you look at, look at a football club and you talk about the spine of a club. You know, you have a keeper, center mids, you know, defenders, attackers. But you look at someone like a Ramsdale who has been a leader on the pitch even his short time in Arsenal. He has, you know, kept, mm. kept clean sheets Kept a lot of goals out of out of goal from the great, great saves. Great rapport with the crowd. As great well. saves. Mm. So like he is a person who could be a leader at this club. Is he a leader right now? I would say yes, he is. But is he captain of this club? I'm not 100 percent so sure. Who are you giving it to? Shit. I'll have to go <laughs> <laughs> with uh, you know. As far as everyone else, I would say give me a Kieran Tierney. Kieran he Tierney. he will All he right. will put it up there for you. All right. Two votes for Tierney. Right. Um, thank you very much. Brilliant. What about you, Aubameyang? Was it handled right? Yeah, because it's not the first time he's been late. And at the end of the day, you've got to set an example for younger players and the rest of the squad. Mm. If um, I'm always late to work, I'm going to get fired, you know? Mm. So the Aubameyang decision, I feel like uh, the public manner of doing it, I feel like it was the right way because if this was another manager, if this was a Conte, a Mourinho or so, everyone would be handling him applause or oh, they've done so well with it. I mean, Arteta, he's in his right to do it. And if we didn't do it in the public manner also, we'd all be in doubt. We'd be like, why is he not playing? Why is he not even in the squad? So that's mm. the right way to do it. 
In terms of the next captain, I'd give it to Gabriel. Gabriel? Yeah, okay. I'd give it to Gabriel. There is people saying Gabriel looks a leader on the pitch, but the only thing is the language barrier. Football is a language. Oh. Football is a language, isn't it? At the end of the day. Remember, come and tell me to do certain things. I'll say, boy, and I turn up late. And then when they say, boy, Gabriel told you to be here at six, you're at seven. I say, yeah, I couldn't understand what you said. Boy, did you not see how, did you, did you not see how Gabriel dealt with the man in his house? That, oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly. true. That's what we need leading our team. Aubameyang, <laughs> he led by example, but the last year and a half, he hasn't really done it. I thank him. I honestly think he's played his If he would game. have been playing well, would we be still saying this? No, not at all. Would we be, you know, if he, if he would have been, say he was on 10 goals this season, would we still be reacting in this way? No, we'd all be sceptical. Mm. We'd all be thinking Arteta's pulled a mad one, but he's not. So at the end of the day, mm. like I said, I think he's played his last so game Gab as well. Okay. I think it's been so Gabriel for you, yeah? Gabriel, yeah. My man. Yes, Rob. What about you? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Tierney, he could be a, a very good captain for our team. Um, he's a good leader. He's loud. He's vocal on the pitch. Um, the language barrier, as you said, it wouldn't be a problem. So, Tierney, How do you know Tierney? How do you know? It's a bit going back to what Kalechi said, but what, it's because someone's, you know, loud, shouts a lot. You know what I mean? Short sleeve and that. Does that mean he's a leader? Well, not, not, that not, we don't know, do we? Not necessarily, but from what he's shown, um, I think he could do very well. I mean, Gabriel, as, as he said as well, Gabriel mm. is a very good leader. Um, so, yeah, so, Tierney. If it came down to it, you're going Tierney as well? I would say Tierney, yeah. Right. Tierney. Tierney. Oh, my man, my man. Yeah. What about you? Did, did you? did you agree with how it's handled with the Aubameyang? You know what, yeah, for me... He could, Teta could have um, come out, yeah, and said that um, I've made a decision to strip Aubameyang of the captaincy. I'm not going to go into any details. It's um, a private and confidential People matter. People are still going to ask you, aren't they? They're well, going to ask. They're going to ask the question, but they can. But, uh, yeah, but sometimes, if you don't, uh, if you don't come out and sort of give your reasons, then people, say, then they all kind of rumours start Robbie, to fly around. Robbie. Boy, you know what? They had a fight at London Robbie. Coney. You know what I mean? I'll take a kick Robbie. him down and he jumped Robbie. back up and give him a drop kick. You know what I mean? You don't know. Robbie. All kind of rumours start said, to spread. Robbie. You could say, yeah, I'm stripping him off the captaincy. I've made a decision due to footballing reasons. I'm not going to go into any fo um, full details. It's f basically on football details. As a striker, Aubameyang's been world class throughout his whole career. But as a captain... As a striker and as a captain, never been a captain before. And I think the contract situation, as human beings, who wouldn't want to be paid 375000 a week? I'll, I, I will take that money. But did he deserve it? Are there a lot of brilliant captains in the Premier League? Mm. I mean, there are not many captains like this guy. You know what I mean? Like Tony Adams around no more, you is it? You know what, yeah. You know, when you look through the Premier League, I, I look and I I'll say, one what, uh, Henderson, um... I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you one potential captain, Declan Rice. Yeah, he didn't have the best of games with West Ham tonight, yeah, but for me, I think there is a captain in him and mm. a world-class player to come out of him. With um, Aubameyang, yeah, he's never been a, um, a top captain in his career, but a world-class striker, yes. Right, so who, who do you give the captain to? captain, yeah. um, if, he can put, if he could stay fit for up to 38 league games, Kieran, um, Kieran Tierney. Kieran Tierney. I would like to see Kieran Tierney have it. If not, the next plan B could be what, Benjamin why does he White. Have to, oh, you don't have to be fit for every game to be the well, captain, do you? He's, <coughs> well, for me, yeah, he, he has his um, history mm. of um, injuries and he's got to be present. But, but again, like I'm about to say, the next plan B will be um, Benjamin White, depending if he is up for that um, role as a why? captain. Benjamin White. Why? Yeah. Why, why? Why Ben White? Have you, what have you seen in him that's a captain? I think he's... Um, I think he, he he's vocal when he, when he's got the ball. He's obviously but is that was what makes a captain vocal. So he, like he, I come round and I he's shout, organized. I start cussing and shouting at everyone. I'm a captain. No, no, no it's not necessarily cussing or shouting. No, no, but I'm just saying you're well, saying Ben. What? Why? Ben White. Why not? I mean, for me, he's he's a talent. He's shown that he's a talented defender. He's shown that he's getting the respect in the dressing room. And I think I've heard. Uh, this is just a rumour that him, Gabriel and Ramsdale are respected young men in that dressing room. Okay. And for me, um, you're, you're I personally feel... They call it ITK. Well... In the know. All right. I personally <laughs> feel, yeah, that um, Benjamin White could be the n n nearest thing that we can have as a centre-half to John Terry. Okay. Wow. Big statement. Um, what about you? Um, first of all, the way it was handled. Yep. Um, Happy with that? 
I think we should just, uh, we should appreciate the honesty from Arteta because he's come out and told us exactly what's happened. That is a All shout because we're always saying, oh, you know, why don't they tell us what's going on? You yeah, know what I mean? We, we always say that as fans, right? But mm. also, I think they could have handled it, they could have spun it a bit differently, you know, to in what way? Say that, you know, um, he's not going to be captain anymore because we need a captain further back in the, in the defence or the midfield or something like that, mm. which I personally think is where the next captain should be. Um, even when Thierry Henry was captain, I wasn't really 100% convinced that a captain should be a striker. It should be a midfielder or a defender so they can read the game because that's what they need to do, read the game and communicate like how Tony Adams did it or Vieira did it. Mm. Next captain, I'd like to say Tierney, but I think there's games where Tavares could keep him out of the team because Tavares is looking really good. Um, as much as it pains me, I would say I'd leave it with Xhaka for a season Ooh, or two. Granny Xhaka! I'd leave it with him. After what he did though? And maybe in a season or two, my Gabriel. So it's Granite Xhaka? For now. All right, so that's it. He's looking at you. <laughs> For now. Xhaka? You Who serious? Else? Who else? For now. No, no, no. Not Granite Xhaka. Uh, Gabriel's too, he's too, no. he's too new. No, no, no. Give him no. a season or two. No. So, Granit Xhaka is the captain of Switzerland. Yeah, he's been the captain of Switzerland for a very long time. But and they ain't doing too bad, are they? They qualified ahead of Italy for the for the World Cup. They did well in the last Euros, and he's a captain. Yeah, but what was that saying? I'm going to take you to your point. So what are you saying? Because he, he's a good player, he's, that makes him the captain. He's the best player. No, no, no. A captain has certain qualities, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Respected by their peers. So. And in a certain okay. respected by a position that he can read the game. But listen to this. Yeah. That character Zaka, and I will call him the character Zaka, told us to F off twice. Throw down the shirt. Throw down the armband. He should never be anywhere near the captain seat. At right? the moment he's the no? oldest. Hold on, hold on, hold on. At the moment, yeah. yeah, he's the longest serving. Since he come here, he's been here seven years and we have never been in the Champions League since he come here, right? So that ain't a good omen. But the other thing I would like to say is this. You see Gabriel, Robbie's talking about the language. Man, on the pitch. He leads, and he leads very clearly. And you see on the pitch, you don't need to speak proper English, you know, because you say, yeah, go there, you point Nessa. You go there, and you go there, and watch, I'm doing this. Yeah, you don't need to speak yeah, you, 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 you had a go at Emery when he couldn't, and he spoke, he, he spoke English. <laughs> right? I'll answer that one, can you? <laughs> anyway, listen, well, I'll go round it up there, right? I want to I put it out to you guys, right? Um... Do you think Aubameyang was treated too harshly or do you say, no, credit Mikel Arteta, you know what I mean, you handled it, you handled it decisively. And actually, you know what, watching the team today, they were playing for him. Nobody could fault that. Every player out there playing for Mikel Arteta. Um, and who would you like as the next captain of Arsenal Football Club? I want us to get it right this time. Last few captains, we got it wrong. Who do you want? Let me know.